Again, upon this side cannot be reached and the material go more. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Good morning, dear students. Is I am audible? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, today uh, we are going to discuss uh, the screw jack uh, assembly of screw jack component. So last class we have done uh, three of the component in screw jack. The remaining component we'll do today and uh, complete the uh, assembly of screw jack. Okay. So all of you practicing the whatever previously we done. Did you practice screw jack and plumber block? Plumber block assembly is over as of now. All the parts are completed. And assembly also I have recorded and uh, uploaded in LMS as well as YouTube. So do practice parallelly so that you can understand. Otherwise, uh, it is very difficult to clear the subject. Okay. All of you practicing the whatever class work we are giving or whatever we are doing in class. Mohan. Uh, Sanoj. Uh, practicing in software. Illa laptop illa sir. The videos are not there. Okay. So last week uh, we. Uh, inter college principal with uh, VTU VC meeting was uh, undergone. In that, uh, they clearly say this semester end exam will be there for all the semester. So, kindly take it seriously and uh, prepare for the whatever the classwork we will be giving. Okay. So, CAMD, it is very important career oriented subject. Okay. So, if you not practice, so it is very difficult to clear this subject. So today we are going to start the remaining portion of the uh, screw jack assembly. So how many parts we done? Do you remember? In last week, how many parts we completed? Yellargo kiwi kedata. Andro, how many parts we completed in last week? Mon. Mohan, Nitin, Nitin, is I am audible? Someone respond.
someone respond mohan sir yen ro ella individual ah kari kelbekanra nimge last class est part mukisido scrooge ko did you attended the previous class how many parts we completed in the previous class i am asking for everyone sudarshan nitin kumar how many parts we completed in previous class see we you don't know how many parts we completed how you understand uh, how you practice this bharat bharat okay we'll start the remaining part uh, today you open the software and i open the drawing sheet okay so first three parts over mm -hmm. main body of the mm -hmm. screw jack mm -hmm. is over then this second one screw spindle is over and nut is over first two uh, mm -hmm. three parts i is over let's move mm -hmm. on to the fourth component so fourth component is a cup here you see bill of material the cup is the fourth component so here so you can see in screw jack um, for almost all the component we use uh, revolve protrusion command because uh, all this components are axial symmetry so that we will use the revolve protrusion for uh, drawing or uh, to produce the part drawing okay so here you see whatever the hatched portion is there that is indicate solid material so here you have to only draw this hatched portion and this will be you extend up to here at the end okay this will be cut out okay cut out from here to here and from here to here cut out will be there so let's uh, extract the dimension of this so this from here if you start okay so this distance will be say the 22.5 the given half of that will be 11.25 11.25 this distance will be 12 mm okay so this distance will be so 45 minus 22.5 is nothing but again 22.5 this distance is also 11.25 so 11.25 11.25 okay so this is 12 okay this distance will be so here you see uh, 38 minus 22.5 how much 15.5 half of that Half of fifteen point five is how much? Seven point seven five. Year to year, this distance is seven point seven five. Sir. Ah, uh, tell me. Sir, very solid is your app as to consider, sir. Software as to consider. Okay, okay. See here, this is what we are doing now. Fourth one cup. Okay. So, this is all the parts of the screw jack we do with revolve protrusion only because all the parts are having axial symmetry. so you have to do hatched portion this one okay and also you have to do this portion as well because this is a cut out only at this uh, uh here uh, along x axis and y axis you have cut out is there the so remaining portion you will be having solid material okay so you complete this portion so for that here you see uh, i start from this point so this is 22.5 half of 22.5 is how much 11.25 here also 45 minus 22.5 uh, 45 minus 22.5 is nothing but 22.5 only again here also we will get 11.25 so this distance will be 12 mm okay so this distance will be 38 minus 22.5 here diametrical distance is given 38 minus 22.5 is 15.5 
half of 15.5 is how much from year to year 7.75 okay so we'll do the we'll start with that okay so select uh, if edge bar is not showing switch on by in the tools you switch on the edge bar so select revolve protrusion select the vertical plane i will select the line and i will start with this point as i told you you take 11.25 at 0 degree again from here also 11.25 at 0 degree so then what i will do is from here i will take so end of this line you see end of the second line i am taking from here or beginning of the second line 12 mm is the height at 90 and this side it will be say uh, 38 minus 22.5 will be uh, 15.5 half of 15.5 will be 7.75 7.75 at 0 degree okay so this is unwanted you can trim i want to create arched portion only okay here you see arched portion so i drawn this much line okay so this outer diameter you see the outer diameter in the front view it is not given the outer diameter but in the top view they given outer diameter is 65 and length will be 42 so what i i already taken 12 mm length or from the center i will take it 42 length from here uh, half of 65 will be how much 32.5 mm line i will take okay here you see so height will be 42 mm from this starting point So take forty-two mm height line at ninety degrees, ninety degree. So here, so the diameter from the top you can see it is sixty-five, right? Sixty-five half will be see here. So take the line from the starting point. I am taking forty. 2 is the height 42 at 90 and you see the uh, diameter will be 65 65 half is 32.5 from year to year it is 32.5 32.5 at 0 degree so then you just uh, extend this line to this end okay extend this line and also this line also you have to extend parallel to this line you will be having parallel symbol can you see the parallel symbol so parallel to that you have to extend the line so till it intersect see here you are uh, you can also see the intersecting symbol also parallel symbol and intersecting symbol so there you have to end the line so then trim unwanted lines i don't want this line this is what the uh, geometry you required to have so this one so how, how i did so so from here this point i started so from this point so 22.5 is the diameter of this So half of that uh, you will take 11.25. Again 11.25 this one. Then from this point you take 12 mm height. Again this will be 7.75. Okay. I stop here and from this point I take an 42 mm height and here it will be 32.5. Then you connect this point to this point you connect and then you connect this point to this point, making sure that these two lines are parallel and it will intersecting at this point like this you have to create this sort of profile okay so after creating that you give revolve protrusion give axis of rotation this one only then say return so it will be 360 degree required so like that you have to create a profile okay is it clear No, by bed row yen thin the yen should be. Artha giriya ilva onsati yeli ila repeat martin artha villa andre. 
Is it clear? Yes, sir. Sir. Yes, sir. So then you, you see here you have a cutout. Okay, here you see of radius uh, pi. Okay, what I will do from the central plane, I will take central plane. So then I draw a circle of say radius pi is nothing but diameter 10. Then I will do cutout. Okay, symmetric extent, I will give the cutout. Okay, so see here. So what I will do is uh, keep this in diametry. Okay, so take normal cutout. Okay, so select this plane. Okay, then from this point, see the midpoint, you draw a circle of 10 mm diameter. Okay, then say return. Give the cutout, symmetric cutout. Here you see symmetric extent. For both the direction, you just extend like this so that so along both the side, the cutout will take place. Now you take on this plane for drawing the profile so that perpendicular to this plane cutout is taken. Okay, now I have to take similar sort of cutout on the other this plane so that perpendicular to this plane cutout will take place. Like this, so take a circle, draw 10 mm diameter circle, then, then return. Oh, here you see profile cannot completely overlap. I think you have two circle here. You see, if I delete one circle, again, one more circle is available. If this is the case, you cannot use return option. Error will be there. You have to rectify the error and you have to eliminate that error. So then say return. And again, you select symmetric extent, cut out. So cut out like this, you have to do. So this is what the fourth part is See here. This is just a normal cutout. No need to do threads and anything at all. Okay, this is normal cutout. See from the top, this is the outer diameter. What we see outer circle is this one. Second circle is, will be this one. Okay, third circle will be this one. Fourth circle will be this one. Okay. So if you see the top view of the, you are, part drawing what you drawn, you can see that four circle. See, this second, third, fourth, okay. So keep it in diametry and save this drawing. File, save as. So previously I saved in desktop in my name folder, screwjack. Here you save as part four. So part four, four will be over. Next, open the new file for doing the fifth part. Select normal dot par for part trying. A okay, new page will be open. Let's see what is the uh, fifth part. Okay, so your fifth part will be this one, a washer. Washer, uh, special washer. Here you see. So I will rotate this so that you, you can clearly see that. Uh, this one, fifth part, fifth one. Okay. So here also I will do reward protrusion by drawing only this hatchet section. Here you see hatchet section is there now. Can you see the hatchet section? Can you see? Bye, Bidro. Yes, section okay so i will create this profile and i will do revolve protrusion okay you see so this diameter is given here you see the distance between these two uh, line will be 14.5 so half of the 14.5 is nothing but 7.25 from year to year you draw 7.25 okay so then so the outer diameter will be 35 okay from year to year so it will be 17.5. Seven, you already draw 7.25. 17.5 minus uh, 7.25 will be 10.25. From year to year, 10.25. It will be 8 mm. Okay. So like that, you have to draw. Uh, this distance is not given. 
okay this this distance is given 25 okay and so this distance here you can see this uh, gap is there now this this is to uh, place this screw over here okay you can see if you uh, compare both the fifth part and sixth part you may get uh, this length okay you see here this total height will be 30 so minus this is 24 from here to here it is 24 so it is not given so whatever length you will take it here so same length you take it here also so uh, what i will do i will take it uh, 3 mm length i will take this side okay let's see so we'll start the drawing so this distance will be 7.25 so this will be 10.25 this will be 8 mm so again i use revolved protrusion select the front plane that is vertical plane so we'll start from this point as always Seven point two five at zero from this point. Ten point two five at zero. Height will be how much? What is the height? Eight mm at ninety. Okay, from this end, I take as I told you. I will trim. This is uh, I don't want this one line. I can delete this and I draw height of three mm. by taking the reference of end point 3 mm line i'll draw at 90 okay so again here here you see from year to year distance will be 25 total distance will be 35 35 minus 25 will be 10 radial distance will be 5 mm here from year to year it is 5 mm then you close this okay So take from this end, take 5 mm at 180, then close this probe. So here a little bit round is given for this. Okay, this is what the profile I drawn. So 7.25, this will be 3 mm. Here to here it is 10.25. This will be 8 mm. from year to year it is 5 mm then close this line okay from here you join to end point of 3 mm vertical line so if you can give you can give uh, the round of uh, say 2 mm here so even if you not give then also no problem so but shall as i am giving now i will give radius 2 mm like this okay then say uh, give axis of rotation this one then say return so you can get like this okay wash out to accommodate this screw okay is it clear are you getting so the bottom is flat one at the top we they we are provided the round see how you draw the profile uh, take this distance as as they given 14.5 half of that will be 7.25 so 35 minus 14.5 will be uh, how much 20.5 half of 20.5 will be 10.25 this is 8 mm this will be 35 minus 25 10 radial distance will be 5 mm you take 3 mm by assumption we are taking this vertical line and from here you join this line and give reward protrusion so then you just save this drawing as keep it in diameter and save this part as fifth part part 5 is it clear is it clear yes, sir, yes, sir.
So then next sixth part will be the screw. Okay, screw is the sixth part. So here you see, this is for uh, screw driver uh, for aligning that screw dev edge. Uh, this two mm cutout is given. So here I will start the revolve protrusion. I will just draw the half of this portion, and with revolve protrusion, I will create this screw. Okay. So starting with this point. So the this this is a, a threaded one. Actually, screw will be having thread. Okay. From year to year, it is M12 is nothing but 12 mm diameter. So take 6 mm. Half of that distance I am taking 6 mm. This length will be the 34 30 minus 6. 24 so then uh, 24 so this will be again total length will be 30 from here you take 30 mm okay so then here it will be 12 mm as the diameter is given 24 12 mm you take so from the end of this 12 mm line to this point you join this it is simple profile you can see here i will do it Open new file, normal dot part. So select revolve protrusion and select the front plane that is vertical plane. So as the thread the diameter is 12 mm, half of that will be 6 mm at zero. Height will be 24, 30 minus 6, 24 at 90 from one end. So this end again you start this. Later you can trim the unwanted lines. So total height will be 30 at 90. So yeah, as the diameter of the top uh, of the screw is given as 24, half of that you take it 12 mm at zero. Then you join these two lines. To end point you have to join. Okay. So uh, here you see this is thirty, this is twenty-four. Distance between these two is six uh, mm. Even if you uh, calculate angle between this line and this line, will be Forty-five, as in the diagram, it is mentioned. The angle between these two end will be ninety. That means from half side it is forty-five. So the profile is correct. Uh, here you see, the profile is correct. You can just. Do revolve protrusion of this. So. Give axis of rotation this one only. As you already drawn the line, you can give that line. Say return. So 360 degree you give. Okay. So then, what else you have to do? See the drawing here. So here the thread will be there, and also here chamfer will be given. Okay. So first uh, do the chamfer of small distance, say two mm. So here below round you have chamfer. Chamfer of Uh, bottom edge so of 2 mm so if you feel 2 mm is lengthy so you can give 1.5 mm or 1 mm uh, 1 mm is sufficient finish and give the external thread so here external thread will be below wall option So below special wall option, if you uh, the side arrow, if you click, uh, you will get external thread, uh, straight thread. 
click on the cylinder to thread it will ask then uh, click on the end of the cylinder it will ask from this end then uh, to cylinder extent or finite value i want finite value for about 23 mm okay so as 1 mm is already given i will give about 22 mm so m12 is the thread type okay finish so thread will be taken okay once the thread is over again you keep it in diameter is anything is left to do you can check so the screw is created uh, you also given the thread okay for full cylindrical extent you give this part you cannot give here finite value it is not uh, able to give in the software and you have this cut out in order to accommodate in order to remove this screw uh, or joining this screw uh, in order to accommodate screw driver this cut out will be given width of this uh, is will be 2 mm height will be given in the front view width will be given in the top view 2 mm width and 3 mm height so what i will do i create a rectangle of 2 mm and a 2 mm width and 3 mm height so from a reference plane and i will do symmetric cut out you can see here so from normal cut out you take so take this plane or this plane it is optional i will take the front plane only okay you are creating the drawing in the plane not on the top surface you just uh, do at the outside uh, width 2 mm you give rectangle option you select width 2 mm and height will be 3 mm angle will be 0 like that you have to draw a rectangle so then uh, select this rectangle use move option uh, and then while placing zoom and place the rectangle okay again i am moving this from a particular point from the midpoint of the top 2 mm line i am taking so that we can place it uh, to this midpoint so here you see you uh, see the symbol okay intersection symbol when that appear you have to place like this then say return do symmetric cut out like this this is given in order to uh, use this screw driver for removing the screw okay so like this you create this screw and save this as save as keep it in diameter and save this as part 6 is it clear is it clear sir okay then we'll move on to next part i think it is the last part in the screw job we'll see what is that seventh part will be so you have you see only seventh part will be there seventh part will be tommy bar okay so tommy bar you have to create this is in order to uh, rotate for lifting the screw jack for lifting the uh, cap of the screw jack so that it will lift the vehicle okay so this is knurling is given uh, in this software knurling option is not there you can uh, uh, simply neglect this knurling here and here okay i will do uh, uh, this uh, revolved protrusion only it is also symmetric about the axis uh, i will start with this point okay so towards the downward direction i will do see this is 12 mm as they given so this will go inside this one okay inside the screw spindle so it will go inside this when you rotate this screw spindle the screw which is accommodated in the body okay it will lift 
okay so that they can lift the vehicle okay here you see the rod uh, 6 mm half of 12 mm is 6 mm uh, below you have to draw 62 mm right so this length this angle is 45 is given okay so this distance uh, it is not mentioned here you can uh, take it randomly uh, to take 5 mm length this one so at, at an angle 45 45 means uh, if you take 45 positive angle it will give come here 90 here 180 here 180 plus 45 it will be 225 so just you say 225 mm line and then draw this profile so total light will be 275 so let's try to create this profile as this outer diameter is also given you see so i will do it you just watch here so select revolved protrusion select the front plane so this will be i am starting from here so 12 mm is the diameter means 6 mm half of that 6 mm you take then 62 at minus 90 bottom you are going so like this you do again total length i will take it from this end i will take total length total length will be how much 275 ah you see 275 is the total length two seventy five at minus ninety then so this will be diameter is given it as twenty this diameter is twenty means it will be ten mm okay so ten mm ten mm at zero just extend this line at uh, just by giving 90 degree angle here i am extending the line so that it will uh, pass over the line which is already created so then zoom this section i want to draw a angle line so 45 angle means this is 0 degree angle from here it is positive angle negative angle will be this one just take a 15 or 15 mm line randomly mm -hmm. at an angle minus 45 it will intersect so this is what we required you can trim unwanted line so this is the profile we required okay you can see you have round option here uh, at the top you have chamfer at the bottom you have round option you can give that so after uh, reward protrusion you can give so this select this one as revolved axis say return u 360 degree so then finish so at the top you give chamfer chamfer of 1 mm say bottom you give round so 5 mm it is taking so it is sufficient so say 5 mm okay preview so like this you required so anything is left out you can see here so there is no thread on the cylinder you can see there is no thread knurling is given knurling you cannot do in this software you can simply neglect if it is having thread it will show like this as you see in this screw okay so there will be thin line inside this thick line so then it is indicated threads are there in the cylinder here no thread is there just simply save this drawing as part 7 so keep it in diameter and save this as part 7 is it clear is it clear attack the end row
So shall we start assembly now? All the parts are over. We'll start the assembly. Uh, for that, uh, you can see you close this uh, as you save already saved this. Close. You have to in the assembly sheet. Have to select this assembly fourth one you can see assembly double click on the assembly open it it is loading software is loading wait for a while
Sir, your voice can't be here, sir. Ishtu leta gelti diya lo. Okay. Sir, na network problem on kande sir, na dadi ke sunne de. Na me text to maride nimke nodi la sir. Text nodi la and explain Martin. So okay, I will start from beginning. See here. So you have to arrest the degrees of freedom. See here, so by default it will be like this. If it is in toolbar, if edge bar is closed, you cannot drag the parts. So make sure that you go to tools and switch on the edge bar so that it will show. Here you have a reference plane and whatever the operation you perform, it will be stored here. Okay. Second one is part library. In part library, so by default it will be like this. I save all my drawing in desktop so select desktop in that i have folder name girish in that screw jack folder name here i show, uh, save all the part here if you click on this part one part one will be seen in the bottom screen click on part two part two will can see like that part three part four part five part six part seven all you can see what you have to do click and hold first you click hold on the part one after holding the mouse you just drag it on the screen part will come and accomplished in the uh, screen. So then what you have to do, so select the second part, click and hold, place it above the first part. Okay. If you see the front view here, you see axis of this one and axis of this one is not coinciding. So now it is freely uh, placed in the space. In a freely uh, placed body, you will be having six degrees of freedom. It can move along the x-axis and you can rotate along the x-axis. It will move along the y-axis. It will rotate along the y-axis. It will move along the z-axis and it will rotate along the z-axis. Like that, freely spaced body will be having six degrees of freedom. So in assembly, what we will do, we will try to arrest the degrees of freedom. Now it can move in any direction. If you see move option, if you select this one, the, it can move like this. See, it can also move in, the, in this direction also. Okay. Sideway, you can move in this direction also. So it has, so if you click on this, it can move in this Z direction also. It is freely spaced so that it can move along X axis, Y axis, as well as Z axis. So what you are, will do in assembly is, we will try to arrest the degrees of freedom. So how you will arrest the degrees of freedom you see here. Say if you keep it in diametry. So here you have an assembly option. Click on the assemble. So here at the top, you will uh, this uh, tool will be open. So this is assembly relationship. Here the downward arrow, you can see small downward arrow. If you click on that, type of assembly relationship will be open. So extensively use uh, axial alignment and flash fit for your entire syllabus. 99% uh, you use uh, only these two commands. Axial alignment means if you give axial alignment, the axis of these two components will, will become same. Okay, flash fit means flash fit means uh, surface will two surface will come and uh, placed on the same plane. I will show axial alignment. See, click on the axial alignment. So click on this. This part has to go inside this. Okay. I will click axial alignment of this one and axial alignment of this one. As this uh, axis of this cylinder, this cylinder, this one, this one, everything is same. Here also axis of this entire thing is same. So just you click on the this axis and this axis. Then if you see the front view, see axis of the two body will become same. If you try to move now, as I am arrested the degrees of freedom, only it can you cannot move uh, such a way that these two axes should not uh, change. Axis of both this uh, part should be same. Okay, what if you move along this x-axis, what happened? 
the axis of the second part and axis of first part will be not uh, remain same so that it cannot be move in when the axial alignment is given you cannot be move the body so that it will uh, uh, come away from that relationship okay so it can move only in see here it can move only with respect to this so that even if you are moving now the axis of the two body will remain same even you can rotate about z axis axial alignment i arrest at 4 degrees of freedom now if you click on the x direction it cannot move in x you see even if you try to move it cannot move in x direction if it is move in x direction means so it the both the axis uh, will not remain same okay so that's why whatever the relationship is given you cannot move the body so that the relationship will break so by giving axial alignment i arrest 4 degrees of freedom that is uh, moving about the x direction moving about the y direction rotating about the x direction rotating about the y direction i arrest at those degrees of freedom now you see it is moving in y direction it is in z direction it is moving up and down you see here if you click on this z it will move up and down why it is moving means even it is moving uh, the uh, the axial alignment will be remains existing with this two part okay so that's why it is moving so now what i will do i will give one more relationship you see flash fit now you see here flash fit means this now you see this surface and this surface is away from each other so if you give axial alignment these two for surface will come along the same plane axial alignment of this surface and axial alignment of this surface so what happen you see after giving that those two surface will come and sit on the same plane so now as i given the flash fit after giving the flash fit now you cannot move in the z direction also because if you move the z direction these two surface will move apart from each other as i am given the relation to uh, both the surface should be in the same plane so that movement will be arrested so like that you have to give the relationship so now the part 2 and part two, uh, part 1 and part 2 are assembled similarly you have to assemble remaining parts is it clear so just you i use the axial alignment and flash fit okay the so next part 3 i will take uh, click on drag it above the screen okay so then so here in part 3 what i will do i will give axial alignment again see axial alignment of this axis and this axis this axis this axis whatever you take all this will be remain same okay so every every uh, thing is having same axis like this you have to do it okay so it will it has to move when once you rotate with this uh, spindle screw with tommy bar uh, because you have threads here threads will be there with the help of thread it will move up and down okay when it rotate so just uh, you give axial alignment and uh, uh, move near to here if it is away from the uh, along the z axis suppose if you place it like this just move near to the uh, second part like this little bit of gap will be uh, okay okay it will be uh, acceptable so because it has to move in uh, y z direction as you rotate the tommy bar it has to move up and down so that's why you just give axial alignment only for this uh, spindle bar okay then three is over uh, top uh, part four you just uh, click and drag it on top of this so now again you will give axial alignment the axial alignment of this one and this one okay so it is uh, coming uh, inside this part what you will do move okay click on this uh, click on this z uh, plane move little bit above like this so that uh, it is easy to do the next one okay you give an axial alignment it has to place it on top of this surface so for that you will give flash fit 
flash width of this surface and flash width of this surface. Now you can see the front view. So this two surface will uh, come on the same plane. Like that you have to give. Okay. So then is there any uh, uh, part four is over, next part five, part six, part seven. And then, then you will take part five. Part five will be uh, uh, washer for the screw. So just keep it above this part and then then uh, fit screen. So then do axial alignment, uh, axial alignment of Axial alignment of these are all same circle, same axis. Any any uh, cylinder you can select axis of this and axis of this. Actually, it will come any any cylinder you can select like this. Now you move little bit up so that you can give another relation called flash fit. So move along the uh, direction little bit up. Okay, so now you can give flash fit. Flash fit of this uh, bottom of the washer should accommodate this surface. So you can zoom this. If you're not able to select the surface, mean you can zoom and select this surface. Okay, this surface with this surface. So this surface has to come and place it on top of this surface. That is what I, uh, flash fit is like this. So you can see in front view. So here you have, uh, you see in wireframe model. So this is a, a 12 mm uh, thickness. It, this is, uh, section is there on top of that screw will come and accommodate. Again, you keep it in. Okay, then uh, only uh, part six is there, screw is there. So keep it in diametric fit. So then uh, take the part six and place it on top of the uh, assembly. Then you give axial alignment of axial alignment of this axis with this axis. Any axis you can select because all these cylinder having same axis. Okay, same axis. So you can select any axis. So because it is coming down, so you can use move option. Okay, so it is somewhere here inside. Here you see it is inside. Along Z direction, you can move it so that it will extend above, uh, like, so that it will be visible for us. So fit, then you have to do flash fit. Select this, go to flash fit, flash fit off. This conical surface you have to select. So zoom this area. This surface, okay. Paper surface, that surface with this surface. Flash width of this surface with this surface. And if that is not taking place, one more flash width option is there. Flash width of this top surface and uh, this uh, washer top surface. I can do that. So as only axial alignment is given for this tummy bar, if you can try and move this along Z direction, uh, move near to this one. Okay, like that, then Keep it like this. Then you see here, uh, the screw is positioned. So what I did, I select the top surface of screw and top of the washer. Here you see, 
ಈ ವಾಶ್ ಆರ್ ಟಾಪ್ ಸರ್ಫೇಸ್ ಇದೆಯಲ್ಲಪ್ಪ ದಿಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸರ್ಫೇಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸರ್ಫೇಸ್ ಐ ಗಿವ್ ಆನ್ ದಿ ಫ್ಲಾಶ್ ಫಿಟ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ದೆನ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅಟ್ ಟಾಪ್ ಫಾರ್ ಸ್ಕ್ರೂ ಸ್ಪಿಂಡಲ್ ಐ ಗಿವ್ ಆನ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಆಕ್ಚುಯಲ್ ಅಲೈನ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಸೊ ವಿತ್ ಮೂವ್ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಡ್ರಾಗ್ ಇಟ್ ಡೌನ್ ಓಕೆ So this is how you have to do the assembly. Then seventh one is there. Keep it in diameter. So this is also it is a uh, tummy bar used to lift this uh, spindle bar so that it will lift the body, body car body to change the tire. So just uh, here you see you can click on the screen, small screen below by. Uh, mouse center scroll button if you hold uh, by moving you can position whatever the position you want you can place it on that position so this is what suitable position to assemble so what i will do is just click and drag it on the screen so i will just give the axial alignment for this axial alignment of this axis and this axis and what i will do we move this one this one along the y axis you move little bit inside so every time we will uh, remove this once you rotate you remove this and you will put it on the other end so you keep it like this only this will be sufficient this is the assembly of the assembly of the screw jump you can save it this one save as uh assembly document there you just keep it it as uh so uh, just keep it as assembly document only assembly screw jack assembly save it okay so you see here uh i will open and uh, so if they ask front section uh yes they will ask front section uh, sectional front view so you see here sectional front view how to uh, take so how to take the sectional front view already save assembly drawing so what i will do is um, keep it the uh, top view of this or so uh, in order to take the section you have to go to pmi here pmi option just beside the uh, tools pmi take the section select the top view okay so in top view you have to uh, take section like this uh, select rectangle option from the center point just click the center click it outside so draw the rectangle like this rectangle or square then return so you have to remove inside this uh, rectangle so move it upside so then give preview finish like this and the section will be coming okay even you can you see sectional view i can delete this here by selecting this section i can delete this if it is not taken appropriately so i will take it on the other end by selecting the pmi section top okay front view where it so let's take this end okay this end section so that tommy bar will not uh, cut like that i will take say keep it in diameter go to pmi option section so draw the rectangle uh, previously i draw the rectangle to the left side now i will draw the rectangle to right side so that 
like this you can use rectangle option only right side i will draw so that tommy bar will not cut like this you take this section i want to remove material inside this rectangle uh, just click inside and move it upside so that it will cover entire section then give preview like this so if you see the front view here so this is the sectional front view what they will ask okay so here you see and the main body second body this one this is cap this is spindle screw this is tommy bar washer screw everything will be uh, can easily see okay So now you have to extract this into a 2D sheet. After saving this, keep it in diametry and save this. Okay, file save as assembly section. You take it as assembly section. So you have to extract this drawing into 2D sheet so that you can update uh, the uh, view. Okay, only. Um, Three four minutes I will end. Be on the line. I will show how to extract to two D sheet. I saved as assembly drawing. Now open new two D sheet. Two D sheet is nothing but normal dot draft. Okay, normal dot draft. Open this. Okay, then uh, do the sheet setup as you do always. Switch off the show background. Save default. Okay, then fit to screen. So after opening this, yeah, uh, below select option you have drawing view wizard. You have to click this drawing view wizard. So then here uh, uh, by default it will be part document only. It is showing part document. You have to uh, scroll down this and select all solid edge model files. So then you you can see assembly and assembly section. You open assembly section, open this. So new window will appear. Just say next. So then, uh, different name would views you will get. You want customized view? Just you click custom. This is general procedure. You have to follow for all the assembly. Then you close the next window. It will ask what are the view you want. Just click the center view, the center one uh, below that and right side one. From the center, a uh, L shape like this. You have to click, then finish. It will come. Uh, usually, it is one is to ten scale. You will be having. So let make it one is one is to five, like this you will get. So if you want uh, increase that uh, scale, you can even uh, this is uh, enough. So we want more uh, information for front view and top view. For that, what I will do is uh, these two. I will make it one is to two. Let's see. So it will not accommodated in this. So make it one is to five only. No problem. One is to five. Okay. So then what you have to do? So because you taken the section, just uh, uh, right click on the boundaries of this front view. Go to property. Here you will be having by default general. Here you have to select this section. Then right click on the section uh, option here. Then OK. So then afterwards, just right click on this and say update view. Section will be updated like this. Okay. So this is what you have to do in the exam. So this will complete the assembly of uh, the screw jack. Next class we'll start a new assembly machine wise. Hope you all understand. So.
if you not uh, if you have any doubts you can get this recorded video parallelly you practice uh, two assemblies are over uh, practice this two assembly so in the exam i will ask uh, draw the half uh, front view half sectional view of uh, screw jack assembly then you have to draw this one after assembly how it look so first you have to draw the main body after that which one you can accommodate in the main body which one it will come top by uh, imagining after assembly how the picture will be you have to draw the uh, manual drawing of this one front view is the half sectional front view top view they will ask usually you have to draw this okay both plumber block and screw jack will be uh, asked in the internal okay i will end the session for today we'll meet on the next class thank you for joining have a good day